What is going on guys, this is Joe Young coming at you with a how-to video today. Today we are going to be talking about how to grow coralline algae in your uh, saltwater tank or your reef tank. Alright guys, so before we start, uh, make sure you guys go check out purelyaquatic.com. Um, the 10% coupon is going to expire on May 3rd, so make sure you guys take advantage of that. 10% um, off of all orders, um, excluding shipping. Uh, we have rare plants and uh, the Wabikusa Eco Ball uh, for sale uh, on the website, so make sure you guys go check that out. Alright, so what is coralline algae? Coralline algae is the purple algae that actually grows uh, along your tanks and on your live rock. So um, when you look at a lot of the reef tanks that has been matured um, and especially good um, healthy reef tanks, you'll see this algae grow in the tanks. So it's a good indicator for a healthy reef tank. All right, so there's a couple ways that you guys can jumpstart um, your coralline algae, especially in a brand new tank. All right, so I'm gonna give you two methods that you can kind of use uh, to grow coralline algae in your reef tank. The first method is the natural way. So in my very first reef, I did this natural way and it took about three to four months before I started to see any um, algae growth on the tanks. Um, especially on the glass, that's where it will appear first, or any equipment uh, that you have. Um, over time, uh, your tank will just naturally grow this. Um, a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't, and they'll scrape it off. But it's bound to grow in all reef tanks. So method number two, uh, to speed things up a little bit, um, I found that actually if you buy a frag piece, or even live rock, or any coral that actually has coralline algae already grown, on the frag piece or even on the rocks um, this can speed up things dramatically for example here's my new 33 gallon long tank um, as you can see we already can see spots of the coralline algae growing on the glass the tank has barely even hit the two month mark and it's already growing coralline algae um, like I said in my first tank it took about three to four months before I even actually saw like a dot anywhere even on the glass. So what I did in my new tank was I introduced frag pieces and um, an equipment that had covered with coralline algae and basically what I did was I helped scrape off of some of that coralline algae, disperse the spores and whatnot into the water column to speed things up. Alright so here's kind of a tip for me or an advice for me. Um, I bought this purple up um, for my first reef to kind of speed things up to help uh, promote um, the coralline algae and even dosing this weekly um, I noticed that you know it still took three to four months to even establish any coralline algae so I don't know if this actually speeds things up uh, versus just using the natural method alright guys so if you guys really want to speed up your coralline algae growth just get a frag piece that has coralline algae grown on it actually a lot of the snails um, that you buy in the store will actually have coralline algae on their shells. So if you buy an A-team to clean the algae in your tank, you most likely already have some coralline algae ready to grow in your reef. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And peace guys! Are you looking to take on the next challenge in the Planet Tank Hobby? Then make sure to check out the Purely Aquatic Wabikusa Eco Ball. It's simple, unique, and easy to care for. This is the next level in the Planet Tank Hobby. Blending immerse and submerge plants together. Stop by the store at purelyaquatic.com to buy your own eco ball and rare plants.